Steven Lu, uh, you have a new development in your car, uh, new company, and uh, I told you um, uh, that uh, I can't find in the internet uh, the name of this company, nothing, any website, and you told me that it's completely new. Tell me how, how you decided to, to do this development. Well, uh, for us, it's, uh, we've been branded, off, uh, we're branded off as a Team China, but now we want to change something new. And then uh, for this uh, next EV, for us it's uh, important, uh, it's uh, actually our own brand from Team China. So it's uh, we're, we're creating everything new, new, uh, so it, it's going to be our technology development company. So the, the idea is to use next EV as our brand, as we registered uh, with FIA to, to be the um, uh, constructor under the name next EV TCR. And then uh, we're going to use this company to develop a second year formerly powertrain systems and in the future for the battery, for the upgrade, for the powertrain, different things. So that's, that's us. In fact, uh, the first year will uh, develop the electronic part, yes. no? Yes. Uh, now for second season, they only develop a powertrain. For the, so, so we have the new uh, uh, upgraded uh, e-motor plus uh, the gearbox. So it's going to be more efficient than uh, the first years come, for sure. I think that it's very difficult to uh, be accepted by International Federation of Automobile uh, with a new company, with a, in a new development completely. Do you have uh, some uh, problems with it or with easy, well, we, we were easy or, or not so much? Uh, it's, it's not easy, uh, for sure, because uh, as you said, we, we are a new company, there's no history from us. But then uh, for, from our, we, give, we send it a really good, uh, solid uh, proposal and then for the 2FIA. They think we are the leading teams in uh, all the other manufacturers. So uh, whatever we do, we are we are confident. So we, we got the financial and then the different support from the government, uh, Chinese government. So it we were good. Where is the headquarters? Sorry, the headquarters of co the company. Headquarters will be in Beijing. Beijing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, you have yet interesting about uh, um, automakers for uh, new developments. Uh, there are some conversation about it or, or not yet? Uh, not yet. We are talking to many different uh, manufacturers, uh, OEMs. But then the, the idea is uh, we only brand it ourselves. But we, we can you know have some projects, different projects, our license for other OEMs. That's the future aim for the, this next EV company. But we don't want to build our, we, we might build our one or two really high performance electric cars. And then in the future, we're going to use this as a presentation of our technology. Then in the end, we will work with different OEMs, with different projects. We're going to provide them services, products, e-motor, powertrain, different things. Uh, I think that it's very expensive to build a new company in this field. Can it be possible to know how much money costs to do all uh, this operation? Well, yeah, for us, we have the budget for 7 to 8 million euros uh, for only for next year development. And then we have to buy the cars, try different things. But in the end, it's, uh, it's as uh, the third year battery is going to open, so it's going to be big. But uh, we are confident uh, from year two, we can have some revenue also from different projects with OEMs, so we can cover that. Uh, do you have some uh, focus about some uh, special type of batteries, or, or it's very early to say it? It's too early because we our plan is to by end of this year we find a battery partner, try to develop uh, everything for year three. So we, we, it's a short, really short time for battery development. We need a lot of tests, uh, you know, the, the, the stiffness uh, test uh, and uh, also FIA uh, regulation homologation is, is difficult. So we have to start early. Always Chinese partner? Uh, not really. Like right now, what we're doing is uh, like. Uh, uh, Russian Motion, Omni Gear is all well, part Chinese, part uh, international companies. But uh, uh, in the end, we, we're going to build, build up our own uh, Chinese engineering team. So that's that's the future. But right now, we are working with a lot of uh, different international companies. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sibeliu. And uh, other last question is why uh, change colors uh, your cars for this race? Well, we are we trying because uh, with our new branding. We want to create this, some uh, new step for the for the new brand. It's not always Chinese, right? So we want to try something different. It's just you know, just to give uh, everybody uh, you know fresh idea about the Team China. What we're going to do, our understanding of the future electric cars. That's that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.